Big changes on an Orlando road have travelers upset. Last month, city officials were putting a stretch of Curry Ford on a road diet, meaning they would narrow a four-lane road to two lanes and use the outside lanes for cyclists. They changed Curry Ford between Bumby Ave and Crystal Lake Drive. New right now at 5, Channel 9 anchor Len Keys is live for us there. And Len, officials always said this would be temporary. But that hasn't stopped the complaints from pouring in to city commissioners wanting the changes out here scrapped. Along with those travel lane reductions you mentioned, the other change out here is the addition of this pedestrian crosswalk. You can also see the traffic out here at this hour. Many told me today they hope these changes don't go past the testing phase. If these digital signs don't do the trick, these bursts of bright green and these barriers quickly let drivers know there's a change on Curry Ford. I don't think it's a great idea at all. Um, I'm just wondering who came up with that idea. Along a half mile stretch, four travel lanes have been cut in half and two bike lanes put in their place. The city is testing out a potential safety fix to reduce crashes and increase accessibility for pedestrians and cyclists. But some drivers say it's creating another problem. Traffic. Especially in the afternoon, you are going to have a lot of traffic going that way and this both ways and um, not a whole lot of bikes. And homeowners say some drivers are trying to avoid that part of Curry Ford altogether and cutting through residential streets like nearby Dunsany and Vantage. I'm definitely hoping they don't since I like to walk on these roads and we don't have sidewalks on all of them. We found Katie Dunn walking her baby girl. She says she's concerned about more traffic and speeders. Almost every day we take a walk and... So, yeah, we, we want low traffic out here. <laughs> Not everyone is anti-road diet, though. Cyclists say they now feel safer. If we're a bicyclist and we follow all the rules, we should have just as much every right to have a piece of the street as, as, a, as a motor vehicleist. But only time will tell whether the traffic shift will stick. Hopefully it would not be permanent. I don't think it's going to work out. Back here live, giving you another live look at traffic. Now, the city has also received some praise for the changes and told me today a significant drop in congestion has been observed. The four-week testing phase will last through mid-May. After that, things will go back to normal, but the city will analyze that data to determine whether any permanent changes will be implemented. Reporting live in Orlando, Link Keys, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.